Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech and today is a little bit strange video that wasn't planned at all. I actually planned a whole different and a huge video but it will be delayed for next week. And yeah, next week there will be a video and it will be a big one. So take that in mind. So, uh, what's about to happen now is a really weird thing and it might work, it might not, I'm not fully sure. But there seems to be a new bug in Windows 10 1709 and above and the bug is basically if you actually enter a specific URL, which is actually not even exactly a web URL, it sort of goes deep into some root kernel. Well, basically you'll receive immediately a blue screen. Now, as far as I read, it doesn't harm your computer in any way other than doing a blue screen. And after a reboot, everything is back to normal. But there were a few people that claimed that it did break something with the operating system. In my case, this laptop is pretty much factory reset so I can sell it though I think I won't, and I don't mind actually trying that. Let's open the browser, and I'm not really sure if it works in any browser or not, we'll try Chrome. I did test it somewhere on an Edge browser and it did work, but here, well, let's try this. So basically the URL is slash slash dot slash global root slash device slash condrv slash kernel connect, and as you can see I miss the last T, and that's just in case so I won't enter it before I actually want to. So uh, let's add the T now and hit enter and see what's about to happen. Now again, I'm not really sure if it will work, if it will do anything. It's Chrome, let's try it. Yep, <laughs> that's a blue screen. It's a serious blue screen. <laughs> okay. So yeah guys, if you see that link, be careful. I will actually put it in the description but probably I'll change something so you won't enter it by accident, so be careful with it. Now let's just see if it, uh, it actually boots normally, cause I'm not fully sure that it does, but let's check it. I think it's booting slower than usual, maybe it's checking the disk or something, we'll see in a moment I guess. And maybe it's dead. So that's why you shouldn't actually try it, as you can see it doesn't want to boot now. Let's try to kill it and then turn it on again, maybe this will do the trick. Okay, it's off now, and let's turn it on again. On the other machine that I actually tried it, it wasn't an important machine at all, so something like this one for now, and it booted normally after the test. Here it seems like it doesn't really want to boot, but let's see, I think it actually does now. Well, it did actually some Windows update it seems, but yeah, now it seems to be booting ok and normally, let's see. Again, this PC doesn't have now any password or anything, it's for sale, so basically that's why it pretty much has nothing on it. And that's it, it works. So again, don't try this, or at least don't try this on a machine that you need because I'm not fully sure if there is any damage done to anything at all except that reboot. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.